Okay, another arrangement of a classic piece. Um, this is Brahms. Uh, he's a romantic composer along with like Chopin and Schumann and you know people at Grieg and people like that. So this is after the classical period. And um, Hungarian dance is if you've ever heard uh, this piece. <laughs> for um, piano duet but there is like an orchestra version of it um, it might be a familiar tune this is the middle section of that where you know you have da -dum -ba 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 -da -dee -da -dum -bum, you know in class we'll watch an excerpt of it but for now time being we're gonna just skip right to it we are gonna be in the C major position are we gonna be in positions forever? No. Um, but in the beginning stages, it's kind of nice so that you don't have to shift around too much, um, just until you can get more free and more used to uh, reading notes in all positions. Okay, so it starts with a C accent. Okay, so kind of go down nice and strong. And the left hand has light Gs, staccatos. Okay, and then we go one, two, three, four, one, two, and the left hand G, again and they're all accented contrast into F to E to D left hand E staccato this is legato accent 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 and repeat the second two lines E E F F G C G to accent accent There's two different sections, right? It's the first two lines and the second two lines, and they're repeated. And then if you were playing here with me, I will play the accompaniment part. Let me see if I can put them um, together by myself. So the st student typically plays here. playing it I would um, play it about a thump, 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 thump. like quarter note it goes like one I want to say like 144 to any, any somewhere in the allegro field 144 or even in like vivace or presto 144 and above all right <laughs> 